What's up guys, Gazali back with another video. In this video I want to talk about some new information we've gotten since the Curse of Osiris trailer launched and some other gameplay has also been shown of the new Crucible map that's going to be on Titan. So not only did we see in the Curse of Osiris trailer that there's a possibility that the Thorn is coming back, uh, the Jade Rabbit and the Telesto, but now it also looks like there's possibly a shotgun coming back that looks kind of like the found verdict that we had in Destiny 1. It was an amazing shotgun and if it is the same one coming back it's going to be a beast mode shotgun in PvP. So I'm going to let the trailer and the extra gameplay we got play through uh, kind of slow. That way you can see everything and then if there's anything in particular I'm talking about I'll pop it up. First we have learned that the light level or the power level is going up to 330 which means with mods you're going to be able to go up to 335 and then also our character level is going from 20 to 25. So based off of that, I would assume that there's at least going to be a few missions, hopefully six, five or six missions that we'll be able to play to get our level up and then be able to get that higher up gear. It also says that there will be a PlayStation, PlayStation exclusive strike. So from that, I'm assuming that there will be at least two strikes if you're on PlayStation and hopefully at least one for us Xboxers. I'm really hoping for more. And then also new raid content. Now, the one thing that's weird about that is normally, uh, like the first Destiny that came out during Dark Below, we got a raid, and that was Crota's End. But it was very lackluster as far as the campaign went. So I'm hoping they didn't trade it out and say, well, we'll give them more campaign, but we won't give them a raid. I'm hoping they're going to give us both. But a lot of people are suspicious of the word new raid content. Now, me, I'm not, and it's for this last part uh, that you'll see here of the Crucible gameplay. If you'll notice when we watched the original trailer that Osiris was using a scout rifle that was very vexy looking. It had the vex portal or like a, a scope. It had a, a bunch of the little bitty vex looking tubes running through it. And now there was another one in that video that was uh, not just a scout rifle. It was an auto rifle. So now what we're realizing from this crucible gameplay is that there's a different version of each of those guns for each of the weapon types. So there's a hand cannon, a pulse rifle, an auto rifle, a scout rifle and uh, maybe even a, a sidearm somewhere in there that we're seeing and they're all very Vex themed. So that leads me to believe that they are going to be part of a new Vex raid just because all of our previous raid gear have a very distinct similar look according to whatever the raid is. The Taken um, raid weapons from this past uh, Destiny game were all very Taken themed. Uh, even the first Vault of Glass gear had a very mechanic look to it. Um, the hive weapons looked very hive-esque. You get what I mean by this. And especially the weapons that came out of the Wrath of Machine raid looked very SIVA fallen E. So I am very uh, excited. I think that it's going to be really cool. I think it's going to be fun. I'm hoping they're going to expand the mods a little bit so we'll have a better mod economy so that it won't feel like there's no weapons or no uh, things for us to find after you know about a month of playing. I'm hoping there's going to be a lot of campaign missions that explain the story a little bit better to us. I hope there's going to be a lot of cutscenes with Osiris in it and maybe we'll actually get to play with him a little bit because he seems like a very interesting character. There's a lot of lore behind him that I'm really hoping they'll delve into and I'm really hoping for this new raid. Um, as I haven't even done the the one uh, for the Cabal this time, the Leviathan raid, just because I, I don't know. I think uh, I was telling a buddy the other day, I think it's because that I can get to the max light level without playing. That's why I just don't care to. Um, it's hard finding a group because no one, like I've been trying to join clans and no one is playing because the content is just dead. Um, there's no increased power level for the uh, hard mer or the hard version or the prestige version. Uh, even for the challenges, you don't get anything better. So it's kind of pointless to even do it. Plus, there's only one boss. And even though it's a beautiful looking raid and it seems like a very fun raid, I really like fighting a lot of different bosses. I don't know why. It's just my thing. Uh, but I'm really hoping for a really amazing raid to come out of this second or this first expansion um, and a really good story. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think or did you see anything else that I didn't mention. Uh, we are getting a good bit of weapons back um, it seems and we already have had a few weapons come back in Destiny 2. I'm really looking forward to some weapons we have never seen. So I'm hoping there will be some cool exotics come out of this first expansion and some cool gear as well that we haven't seen before. But are you looking forward to grinding up to that new light uh, power level when it comes out? I sure am as always. But that's it guys. Leave a like, comment below, let me know what was your favorite thing about these two uh, new pieces that we've gotten. The Curse of Osiris trailer and this new Crucible gameplay. Subscribe if you're not subscribed guys and I'll see you in the next video.